So what's the difference between opacity and flow when you're using brushes in Photoshop? That's a question that I got so many times during my last live event as I was talking about pressure sensitivity with my pen that I thought it would deserve its own video tutorial. Now, I don't want you to confuse opacity and flow with brushes with opacity and fill with layers. That's a topic for a whole different discussion. What we're talking about today is brushwork and brushwork only. Now, what you'll see, I'm gonna grab just the regular big soft brush that we have in Photoshop, which is the general brush, the soft round brush. That's the brush I'm using for our demonstration today. Now, what you'll see up top here is these are all the settings that you have for controlling what happens within your brush. What we just did was we just set the brush that we're using, which is the Photoshop brush. I've got it at a size of about 70 pixels because it's good for the canvas that I'm working on right now. The mode, people ask me all the time, Blake, what mode do you use? I just use normal. I typically don't use many blend modes with my brushwork. I control that from the layer standpoint. So now we move into opacity, flow, and smoothing. Now, opacity and flow is the difference that we're gonna be talking about today, but let's jump to smoothing real quick. Smoothing is actually this algorithm that's been placed within a brush. I believe the default is 10% at Adobe when you first start out, but what that smoothing does is it helps uh, ensure that you get a smooth stroke when your hand moves. So if you kind of have a shaky hand or something like that, smoothing can help get you a more accurate stroke. It will slow down your brush work. So if you ever notice that when you're brushing, it's really slow, check your smoothing. I typically keep mine between zero and usually 10%. I want my mouse and my cursor to go exactly where I want it to go. Now we can get into opacity and fill. I'll talk about some of the other settings up here in a minute. So let's talk about opacity first. Right now my brush is at 100% opacity, 100% flow. So with opacity here, I'm just going to go ahead and click right here. It's at 100%, click and drag over. Now the brush that I'm using, the color that I'm using is 100% black. It's 000 in the RGB values, so it's pure black. So what that means when that's set to 100% is that it's going to give me 100% black. Now, if you're looking on the outside edge of the brush, you're like, well, there's a nice soft edge there. That's the natural transition that's built into this brush. If we had a hard edge brush, you wouldn't see that transition on the outside. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the opacity here to 15%. Okay, so now I've got the opacity at 15%. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag over. Now, if you press and hold the shift key, this is a really cool tip. It'll make sure that you maintain a straight line. So now I'm at 15% opacity. And you can see that as I drag this back and forth, I cannot get above 15% opacity, no matter what I do, no matter how big of a mark I make. But if I stop clicking and then I click again and I start to paint on here, you'll start to see that I get a little bit more. So I'll paint a little bit more and a little bit more. With every unclick, I can get more opacity with a buildup starting from 15%. So what this means is that it doesn't add any more tonal value to the brush stroke unless I release the click and click again. I'll show you that again real quick. I'll click and drag over. I'm holding shift. I'm, I'm going back and forth and back and forth, and it's not giving me any more than 15% right now, okay? So now let's talk about flow. I'm going to bring my opacity all the way back up here and we'll go into flow. So looking at flow at 100%, I'm just going to click and drag over. I'm using my mouse right now. We get 100% of whatever is uh, coming from this brush at this point. But if I change this flow to 15% to kind of match some of the settings that I did up here, I'll click and I'll drag and I'll go over. Now, once I come back, I can start to do a buildup on top of that flow. So what this is doing is it's allowing me to get a little bit stronger with my tonal values as I pass over. The difference between this and what's happening with opacity is, again, opacity would not allow us to build up unless we what? released our click. So this is an on click buildup. This is an on pass buildup. So by on click, I mean that once I click and move over and then click and move over, it builds up the brush on pass means that as I go over that same pass several times, it will allow me to build up from 15%. And that's pretty much the basics of opacity and flow when it comes to your mouse. But let's talk about this when it comes to your pen. Real quick intermission here before we go into the pen settings. If you could do me a huge favor and show some support for my channel by subscribing, that would be awesome. I do things like this all the time where I take very difficult tasks in Photoshop and make them very simple and very easy for your workflow. Okay, so right now, my pen, if I were to grab my pen and my pen and tablet and I start painting right now on this, it's going to be 100% opacity, 100% flow, just as if I was using a mouse. As actually right now, this isn't doing much of anything for me because I'm using my pen 
very similar to where I, what I would use my mouse. But here's the, the kicker, and this just happened in an email the other day. Somebody asked me, why is my brush not building up with pressure sensitivity? Well, that might be because these are actually buttons right here. And if you click this button, that now says, okay, pen, you, pen, get 100% control over the opacity at 100% with the pressure sensitivity that you apply. So I'm gonna click right here and then just press and hold the shift key and just brush. Now I'm not pushing very hard with my pen right now, but as I push harder and harder and harder, it kind of creates that sense of flow that we saw down here. Because what's actually happening right now is that the pressure sensitivity that I'm putting down onto my tablet is dictating how much opacity is going down with each one of those. So if I push very lightly and just barely move across that tablet there, you're not going to see much opacity being laid down. I'll go as light as I can right now. See that? Not much opacity, but I'm going to push harder. All right, here we go. Harder. Let's go. Put the pedal to the metal. And now we get 100%. So now if I change that opacity to 15%, just like we have here in our little chart, change that opacity to 15%, and I start to move this across with my pen here, if I go as hard as I can, I'm pushing as hard as I can. I've got that pedal to the metal. What's happening here is that even if I'm trying to put my pedal to the metal, there's a governor in here. And that governor, just like on a, a car, is saying, you can't go faster than 15%, Blake. So in order for me to add more opacity to this, I'd have to release my click and click again. But I can still only do 15% at a time. Okay, that's where this custom comes in. This is a, the pen gives you the custom, the ability to customize how you want the uh, pressure sensitivity to interact with the opacity or the flow. So let's talk about this when it comes to flow. Okay, so now we're going to do flow. We're going to click this right here. So now we're saying pressure sensitivity from my pen is controlling the flow. So let's turn off the pressure sensitivity of my opacity. So now I'm going to brush on here and the flow is at 100%. Even with pressure sensitivity on, there's not much I can do here. It's going to be at 100%. But when I change this flow to 15% and I brush on here like this, okay, now it's that's the governor that's kicking in that says you can't go above 15%, Blake, unless you keep going past, 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 back and forth. Even though I'm pushing as hard as I can right now, I'm pushing as hard as I can. That governor is set saying, Blake, you can't go past 15% flow, even though you're using that pressure sensitivity. So this becomes a buildup process, which this actually is very similar to what's happening over here with flow when it comes to our mouse. We're basically turning our pen into a mouse at this point. So where you can get really customized with this is if you were to turn opacity and flow on for your brush, and then as you paint, let's say down here, we are controlling the opacity and the flow of this brush as we pass back and forth with our pen. So what you'll see here is that this gives you this portion right here when you select the uh, pressure sensitivity for opacity and the pressure sensitivity for the flow. This gives you the most natural, almost painters like control. That's why a lot of people like myself will use a pen and tablet as opposed to just using uh, a mouse when we're dodging and burning, when we're masking, uh, when we're painting in very specific areas of color within our image, because it gives us a lot more fine tuned control. There's one more thing I want to show you here, and that's a button right here. This button, this is actually going to be the size. So coming over here, I know I'm on the wrong side of the chart here, but coming over here, as I push down with my pressure sensitivity, you'll see that we have a very small brush that as we push harder and harder and harder, it gets bigger and bigger with a darker opacity, and then we can go over that with the flow. So this will control your opacity by pressure sensitivity. How opaque is that line going to be with the with how hard I'm pushing down? The flow is how much it's going to give as the buildup process would be considered there. And then the pressure sensitivity of the size of the brush. If you want to learn more about the pen tablet I use, it's a very budget friendly under $50 pen tablet. Click here. If you want to get 10 of the custom brushes that I've made specifically for you and teach you how to make them yourself, click here. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos as they come out.